What happened to the movie in New York that you were working on? You said sort of the ind- with an indie producer in New York. Yeah, it never happened. It, um, but that's true for I guess most of the time. You know, mm-hmm. you get this. Uh, you write you write a screenplay and someone takes interest in it and you um, you know do meetings on it. We were doing rewrites for the director and um, suddenly we weren't anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> suddenly, gotcha. suddenly we weren't making the movie anymore, and that's sort of par for the course. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of disappointment that goes along with it. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, for sure. You know, your your uh, your list of credits only shows like the the tip of the iceberg of what you're really doing all the time. Yeah. So how did you make that leap to um, Beautiful Boy? Um, and just quickly, maybe kind of tell us how that came about. That's a, a feature film you wrote it and directed. Between this sort of Warner Brothers movie that fell apart and and another movie that I wrote, that, that actually is the one that I mentioned that is um, happening at Netflix right now, uh, I wrote that movie and it was getting meetings and attention on that and people were interested but then nothing was ever happening so out of the frustration of that I thought I would write something small that I could do sort of independently not independently independently by myself but you know that didn't require studio money you know at the time you know these shootings were sort of not as common as they are now but they were starting to happen more and more and I was really consumed about that like a lot of people are and and thought thought I, I I don't know what happens to the parents of these shooters like what is their life turned into and that sort of turned into that movie so we sent it to some talents and when the talent signed on off they the talent signed on from the script because they were um, really interested in the roles you know I met with them and you know less than a year later we were on set Hmm. shooting it. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Selling Your Screenplay podcast. If you'd like to hear the full interview, just go to sellingyourscreenplay.com slash podcasts. Or to go directly to the episode, just use the link in the show notes. Thanks for watching.